Hey everyone, this is Josh from Nonsense Gaming, and I'm gonna be doing a let's play over a Pokemon Crystal version. I definitely have to say that Crystal is probably my favorite out of the Pokemon series. Now, don't get me wrong, the originals, like Blue, Yellow, and Red, they were great too, but Crystal is probably the Pokemon game that really caught my attention. Because when you see, like, uh, Suicune, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure how to pronounce fucking Pokemon's names. But when you see him running past you in uh, one of the forest levels, I guess mid-game, I was like, damn, I want that Pokemon. I mean, that was like an epic moment for me when I was a little kid with my Game Boy Color, sitting there smashing the buttons. I was like, oh my god, what was that? That was amazing. And this is probably why Crystal's probably my favorite which yellow was my second favorite because you had the little Pikachu guy sitting there following you around and that was so cool because it's the only damn game it, that I know of so far I haven't put anything past Emerald because I don't have a DS and kind of like Pokemon because it was kind of simple and 2D and it was just kind of addictive, it was just simple and enjoyable. I don't really like all the 3D shit the DS has in there. Anyways, I'm playing Pokemon Crystal and I hope you guys enjoy it. For those of you that haven't played it, you should definitely pick it up. It's one of the great older Pokemon games. Even though it is second generation. Not much I don't really know much the Pokemon past the first generation of Pokemon, but this game's nice. I love it. Let's see, J. Mm. Yeah, guys, I forget my name sometimes. I have to sound it out when I'm spelling it. I'm ready, guy. Been listening to your old ass talk for at least four or five games now. Hell, every Pokemon game starts out like this. I'm tired of you. I don't want you to talk anymore. I got it. I'm ready. Damn. Well, now after I had that long talk with Professor Oak or Elm or whoever the fuck it was, I have to go downstairs and, <laughs> oh, talk about my mom. Oh, Josh. Our neighbor, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he wanted you to do something for him. Oh, I almost forgot. Your Pokemon gear is back from the repair shop. Here you go. Here's the Pokemon gear. No, 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 no. Pokemon gear or just Pokey gear? It's essential if you want to be a good trainer. Yeah. I have to set the day. I guess it's Sunday. I don't know. Sure. Sounds great. Oh my god. Why does this matter? Did she just ask me if I know how to use a phone? What the fuck? No, mom. I don't know how to use a phone, but I can command a little Pokemon to shoot water at people. But I don't know how to use a phone. That's the only way it's too technological. Anyways. Yeah, guys, uh, if you watch my Mario Party videos, uh, some things in games, uh, don't get me wrong, I love this game and stuff, but some things in every game I play, I just have to overreact and dramatize, because it just, it just irks me, like stupid shit. But, don't get me wrong, at the end of the day, I still love the games that I play. I love the hell out of Mario Party 2, and I love the hell out of this game. It's just sometimes... It, I just, oh my god, things just make me want to pull my hair out in games. Oh my god, all these people, they just won't shut up talking. Jesus, finally, I don't know, he has to talk some more, he got an email. Or this gray blob of a computer. Mr. An acquaintance called Mr. Pokemon. Ooh, that's real original. 
keeps falling, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, I need you to deliver the shit for him. Ah. Uh, Why don't he just go? He's like the professor at a Pokemon laboratory. He can just jump on the back of a fucking Pidgey. I never got how you flew on a Pidgey, but yeah, he can just jump on the back of a fucking Pidgey and fly there and deliver his damn message. So I'm sending a little ten-year-old boy, probably, because I'm just gonna say that because Ash was like ten in the series when he got his first Pokemon and. Just set out on his own. Almost got killed and shit. If you remember the first episode, he gets attacked by like Pidgeys and shocked by Pikachu a hundred times and everything. He didn't get attacked by Pidgeys, he got attacked by Sparrows. But yeah. It's like, oh, okay, son, here. You can have this little pissed off electrical rat that fucking shoots sparks at you. And you're on ten, but you can go out on your own, whatever. Anyways, I'm just gonna name him. Dale. Don't know why. Just don't. Just fuck it. I don't, I don't know where that came from. Cherry Grove City. Can't miss it. I'm, I'm sure I can't miss it because you, you, my mom, and the other professors probably told me my whole life story by now, or your guys' life stories one. Oh my God. Can I go? Oh my, this little lab assistant has to freaking talk to me. Thanks for the potion. But at least he gives me something useful. My mom didn't give me shit, she's just talking to me about Daylight Savings Time. And that guy kinda gave me a Pokemon, but he talked my head off. And this guy kept it short and simple, he's like, oh, here's a potion, bro. Bum, 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 bum. Josh, boy of 10, sets off on a Sunday at 10 a.m. with his Pokemon and his potion and Wonderlust. This grand 8 bit, 16 bit, however many bits this fucking game has world. I have to watch out for the pedophiles lurking in the bushes that want to fight me and suck on my sweet succulent. 10 year old tits. That was creepy, but that's how they are on here. Look at him. Look at this guy. He's just sitting there creepily. Look at that. Did you see his little head movement? He's just sitting there creepily in the tall grass, waiting for someone to come by. A 10 year old boy, in this case. And just change his position every so often, just scouting the field. That's creepy as fuck. There seems to be a trench in my way. I think it's a trench. I don't even know what the hell that is. So I have to go fight the pedophile, I guess. This is sad. Oh my god. Random encounter. I don't even think Professor Elm gave me any Pokeballs. Wow, Pidgey appeared! Go down! I thought I chose a fucking Totodile. Shows how much I pay attention to anything. Come on, Dad, tackle! Never mind your flaming back and the ability of you being a, a fire Pokemon. Just tackle that damn Pidgey. He's flying in the air. If you can jump that high, it's awesome. And then just hop on your back and you just hop from city to city if you can jump high enough to hit a Pidgey. Come on, Dale. If I get another fight, I'm gonna be dead. Look how much health this fucker's taking from me. Three points. Woohoo! 15 experience points. Get the hell out of here. Dun 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 I know a lot of people usually fight the trainers along the way, but I don't. I try to avoid every battle I can, and when I get to the Elite Four, usually I get my ass kicked because my Pokemon are so underleveled. I do the lazy method, though. I get a lot of money, put my Pokemon in daycare at the beginning of the game. And get like another Pokemon and level him up, and then right before I fight the Elite Four, I go back to Pokemon Daycare. My Pokemon jump so many levels, and I usually just have two overpowered Pokemon. Like I have like two level 70 Pokemon, and the rest are like five or 20. I don't bother leveling them all up. 
I know it's bad, but I just usually over level the one I have and just run through everything. I didn't know that little fucker had a berry. I usually just spam attacks. I never use Terra Whip or any of that lower stats. I don't know. I didn't get that technical with Pokemon. I don't really have a strategy. It's just tank and spank for me. I kind of wanted that Pokemon. It's kind of cute looking. It's like a little ferret mixed with a squirrel. It was all fat and stuff. Oh shit. I have to fight this fat fuck probably. I think I can avoid him. Uh, 